Hi guys, I hope everybody's doing great. It is hard to believe it is week seven already of online learning, but here we are. So this week is pretty exciting. Um, in fact, this lesson that I'm introducing this week is going to be a two week lesson. So that means that you're gonna have two weeks to complete um, the project or projects, because there's two projects we're actually gonna show you um, in this week that are science connected art. And you have the choice of choosing one or the other or doing both if you would like to do that. Okay, so let's take a look at, well, let's first talk about our learning goals for the week. Um, first one is going to be that I can experiment with art processes, um, procedures, and materials to create art. So we're going to be using some different materials in different ways. We're going to be using water, we're going to be using chalk, but not in the ways that we usually do. So this is going to be kind of fun. Um, the other one is I can use value to create form in my art. So we've been working also on form the last couple of weeks. And we know that form means three-dimensional, um, something that it looks like it has height, width, and depth. And we are going to be actually creating that using value, which means different um, shades or tints of color. When we go lighter or darker with color and we use it in a certain way, we can make things look like they're round. And you're going to be creating beakers, science beakers, um, today if you choose this project. And we're going to be learning how to make them look round. So that's pretty cool. So here's an example of the first project. Um, this is Cassie Stevens is going to actually model this project for you. She's got a co-video cool out um, about this project, and I thought it would be just neat for us to do that with her. So um, as you can see, we're going to create our beakers. That's a scientific word for a bottle that holds a liquid. And we're going to make them look like they are round using color. Now, here's the other part. If you choose to, you can make your beakers explode. Ready? Watch what happens. They explode when we pull them apart. And I know some of you have made these kind of with um, animals and mouths and people and that kind of thing. But I thought this one was pretty neat with the beakers. So here it goes one more time. Ready? Bang! I like those sound effects. Now, if you choose to do this one, I would love it if you would take a little video of yourself creating sound effects to go with your art and send it in to me. And then I'm going to take those and kind of compile them together in a little video for us that. I think it's going to be pretty um, fun. So that's your first project option. Now, if you're not feeling too cool about, you know, the whole explosion thing and you don't really want to go that far, you are totally okay to do uh, a drawing of just beakers if you want to or something that's round and using your value um, to do that if that's the project that you want to create. So you've got a couple options there. The other project that we're going to be, um, you're going to be seeing with Mrs. Stevens is also super cool, and it uses the science of surface tension of water. So you're going to see her show you how to um, make a marbling paper using chalk and surface tension. You're going to kind of sprinkle some dusty chalk over the top of water, and the surface tension is how the water holds that light thing on top of it. For instance, it's the reason that like mosquitoes can walk on water because the molecules of the water are very tight and they are holding up whatever the light thing is that lays on top of it. Now, here is a little piece of advice. The colder the water is, the more surface tension it will have because those molecules will then stick tighter together, those water molecules. So use colder water when you do this project. It will help. Um, so here are some examples of what you might create. This is one of the beakers here. There's another one that I created. One more done with chalk. Now I actually use sidewalk chalk and um, this is Stevens in her video use is uses chalk pastel. Now, remember, chalk pastel is not the oily kind, it's the chalky, dusty kind. So the dustier your product is, your material is for this project, the better. My uh, chalk pastels that I have were a little higher quality, and because of that, they weren't quite as dusty 
as my sidewalk chalk was, and so my sidewalk chalk works better. Now, also, um, you can even use water uh, food coloring with that, and I did this one with a little bit of food coloring. So you might even go ahead and just try some different types of materials with that project and see how they come out. Anything that you can get to, to be very light and lay on top of the surface of the water will work. In fact, there's a really cool video that I've included that's optional as well, where an artist uses uh, paint to layer that paint on the top of the water, and then he creates his art from there as well. And that's a really cool video to watch too. So I'm excited about this week's projects. Remember, you have two whole weeks to work on these. My suggestion is that you watch the videos this week and kind of get an idea for these projects. Think about what you would like to do and then plan it. And then next week, uh, you go ahead and do your art that week and then send it in to me, okay? Don't forget, if you make that explosion art, send me a video if you choose. Again, if you choose, send me a video of you making sound effects to go with your art. That would be fun. All right, guys. As always, I miss you, and I am looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.